Stroke of good luck for him has now moved on to the semifinals. Just yesterday, well, you were here telling me, you know what, I can't believe I'm in the quarterfinals, and yeah. Francisco, you're now in the semifinals. Not the way you wanted to move on, but uh, what are your emotions right now? Uh, yeah, thank you. Right now, I don't know, I feel strange, because yeah. I was feeling good on the court. I wanted to keep playing, to try to win a match, like the complete match, so when he retired, it's not that I was expecting him to retire. So it was like suddenly he gave me his hand. So I was like, what happened? I didn't know what, what was wrong with him. So now nah, I wish him a good speed recovery. He's a great player, a great person. So yeah, it's bad luck, but in tennis it happens. So you have to take opportunity. So yeah, happy, but not enough. I think yeah. I'm going to enjoy it later. Well, listen, you're going to move to right around 50, even with this result now, which is just a tremendous jump in the rankings. We were just having a bit of a chat with uh, a former Argentinian great, Horacio de la Peña, who's put on so many challengers in Argentina, and you were joking, saying, listen, this is, this is one of the reasons I'm here. How important has that been to have events in your own country to be able to get better, earn points, and, and move up? Yeah, Horacio with the Dublin Care, our South American Legion, is doing uh, an amazing job. Uh, since I started playing professional, I think uh, I didn't have like tournaments in South America, so I always play in Europe and sometimes here in USA, but to be able to have 20, 25 uh, challengers, I don't know, 15 futures for yeah. the region, it's unbelievable because for us it's really expensive to start playing tennis, to travel a lot because the, the flights are expensive, you have to be two or three months outside your, your country, so being able to play near your home or at home, it's something fantastic. So yeah, one of the reasons I'm here is for, because of Horacio and all his team and yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Hope they can keep going. Well, listen, it's beautiful to learn a bit about your tennis journey, but look, we've been watching you play well and you're, you're on your way to becoming a big star on the ATP Tour. So we want to get to know a little bit more about you off the court. Is it true, I've read that your favorite character, your favorite movie is Gladiator. So that is one that really inspires you? Yeah, probably. I'm not a big movie fan, but I I, I, I like better shows. Okay. But yeah, movie is, can, can is, be is there one in particular? Like, are you yeah, watching something I, now you love? No, no, not now, but because I'm, I'm really busy sure, <laughs> this sure. week. But uh, busy winning. Yeah. My favorite is Prison Break, I think, or prison Vikings, break. or Vikings. Oh, Prison Break or Vikings? Yeah. Okay. And now, while we're on the subject, do you have a favorite actor? Yeah, I think uh, Schofield. I don't know his name. It's Prison Break. Uh, in prison break okay i don't know his name but uh yeah in, okay, the, well, in the show are, is michael scofield those are those are two brilliant ones prison break vikings yeah. now what will what will you do go get ready will you will you head out to dinner have a nice little mini celebration midweek i don't know what i'm gonna do now probably i will stretch a little bit just chill out and yeah grab some dinner and watch watch the game the match uh, between sverev and ruth so i can see a little bit about my next opponent okay the actor, just for future, Wentworth Miller. You're so right. that's your guy, Wentworth right. Miller. Okay, yeah. well, if he's watching, you got a fan in Francisco yeah, Sorrento. I'm a fan. My guy, thank you for joining us. Tremendous effort and all the best of luck all the way. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.